extra time. Rated to be one of the most destructive batsmen to play the modern day cricket, Sanaj Surya, presently the chairman of the selection committee of Sri Lankan Cricket Board, was caught up with extra time at Colombo today. Let's check out what he said to extra time. I'm not disappointed, but uh, there have been more runs on the board in the first innings. So that's what um, the, the, my uh, uh, thinking is. So if you want to do really well, and you, you need to get some runs on the board in the first innings. So that was a little bit of disappointed. And, um, I think um, uh, our, our batsmen are capable of getting runs. What are you disappointed with the way of your batsmen applied to two shots, three innings and getting out when they were settled? Means a bit of application was needed to save the test match and take it to the fifth table. Were you disappointed with the application from some uh, of the batsmen? No, I, I'm not disappointed about that. Uh, we are a very young side. It's we are in a transition period and these players need a little bit more, more time and uh, um, um, the way they handle themselves uh, in the middle, but uh, they, they are handling their pressure well because they, they, they prove themselves just uh, one week before that chasing almost 400 runs in a fifth day wicket, uh, a, a, any opposition. So if they can do that, I, I, I'm not disappointed, but uh, uh, if you want to do well, you, you will put some uh, get some runs on the board in first innings. That, that's the normal basic cricket in test cricket. Cricket heading obviously, there are some legends like you, Murali, Chaminda, then if you talk about yesterday's Ranatunga, and so on, and so name it. There are so many top stars in the international play, but where is Sri Lankan cricket heading? Yeah, we, the, those players can't play uh, every time, so they, they, they are retired, and uh, we are going with a few young, youngsters, and these youngsters are talented players. So, what we have to do is uh, we know that. Uh, uh, the supporters and cricket loving public will frustrated but still we will have to be patient these boys are talented they will deliver in in, in future uh, they, they are the one who are going to take Sri Lanka cricket uh, into higher level but then you said that the transformation uh, transition has been taking a bit too long so this obviously that is what uh, we when we talking about all these things uh, as as a spectators it will come like that but still, we need to be patient. Obviously, why aren't there any enough talents coming up? Obviously, there's so many talented cricketers are there. In the For me, there are enough talent are coming up, and we need we need to be like I said in the early. That's, we need to be patient. This is not only for Sri Lanka; it would have been any other country for sure. They would have gone through these periods, and they, they have come out. So we need to come out, and we are going through this period. They will come out. Captaincy theory will work for Sri Lanka cricket because you have Chandimal leading the test match and Saranga leading the one days. Will it work for Sri Lanka? It will work because uh, Pul Tarang is an campaign as a, a 50 over cricket and T20, and Chandimal is concentrating about test cricket at the moment. So we'll have to uh, go on like that. And uh, uh, Chandi will deliver as a captain, and it's, it's a good uh, thing that uh, he's captaining the test team. Perhaps a bit too much interest in T20 cricket harming the batsmen these days. Obviously, means too much influence of T20 cricket and one-day cricket is harming Test cricket here in Sri Lanka. No, no, no. We, we are not worried about that. As long as they know their basics uh, and they know what they are expecting, and they are they are all right. So, they you can play whatever cricket, but uh, when it comes to Test cricket, it's different cricket, and you take uh, less risk. So, even a Test cricket, if you attack, you attack and get some runs on the board. That matters. Coming back to your personal thing, obviously, what has been the biggest, obviously, winning the World Cup was the epitome of your success. But then, who are the difficult bowlers, most difficult bowlers you faced in your career? Uh, I think quite a few uh, bowlers uh, we have faced in during my career, and uh, you can't mention one or two players. There are quite a few, but uh, I think that, that that's how you handle your pressure, and if you have quite a few. Uh, uh, talented uh, the bowlers you face uh, you have you have to handle yourself so we, it was difficult but I handle myself uh, all the bowlers Is there any particular game obviously you face the most difficulty in facing international bowlers? Yeah like I said earlier McGrath or Courtney Walsh Ambrose Wasim Makram Waka you name it there are quite a few Anil Kumble so these are the players we, we have been going through Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.